When nine-year-old Bobby Wilson learned about invasive lanternflies, she knew she wanted to help save the trees in her community. But when she was outside of her home in Caldwell, New Jersey, doing just that back in October, her neighbor called the police. Now, Bobby's mother, Monique Joseph, intervened when the police arrived. And afterwards, she decided to speak out about the incident at a city council meeting. Take a look for yourself. Based on everything that has transpired, I am concerned and outraged. I want this to be a teachable moment for our town on racial bias, diversity, equity, and inclusion, and how we together can ensure that go forward, little black and brown children in this town can feel safe in this community. And here with us today to talk more about what happened and how the community has since responded are Monique Joseph and Bobby Wilson. We want to welcome both yeah, Monique and Bobby. For being welcome. Here, Bobby. Thank you. Good to see you. So nice to have you. Monique, let's start with you. Um, we've seen the body cam footage, but I want you to walk us through what happened from your perspective back in October. So that was um, early in a Saturday morning around 11 o'clock a.m. Bobby went out with her homemade solution to kill the spotted lanternflies that were infested on two of the trees that we um, on our street. Um, a couple of minutes later, I decided to go out and join her, and that's when I noticed that I saw the officer's car slowly passing my home and stopping at my neighbor's home. Um, a couple of seconds later, I heard my neighbor yell to the officer, go get her, and that's what caught my attention initially, right? So as I saw the officer approaching Bobby, I'm, you know, I'm computing, and I realize that he's stopping to talk to Bobby, so and she's in, engaging with him, and I say, officer, please don't. You know, that's my daughter, she's mm -hmm. nine, she's a minor. By the time I got there, he had asked Bobby a series of questions. He immediately let me know that she was okay, I was okay, but that he was recording, he had a body cam on. And in that moment, I asked, you know, why are you recording? And he said he had a report that someone was... And you must have been livid. I mean, immediately when I heard of this story, I covered the Tamir Rice story, I thought about that incident there where this little boy was playing with a toy gun and then cops showed up and in a matter of seconds, it turned out to be a different story. Did that ever like come to your attention or, or raise some type of concern that this could have like gone left? So immediately, so honestly, when I knew it could have gone left, left was afterwards, right? So initially all I knew was that my neighbor called, I approached him, I asked him, why would he call the police? He gave me his version of why he called. Um, it was contradictory to what the 911 transmission. And that was the moment that I realized when he racially profiled my daughter, when he used dog whistle terminology, that was dangerous. That's when I understood exactly what, ha what happened. And we want to let our viewers know that we reached out to your uh, neighbor, Mr. Lashi's attorney, uh, for comment, but they did not respond. But in a statement uh, to the Daily Beast this November, Mr. Lashi's attorney confirmed that his client made the call to the police but denied that it was racial profiling. So why did you decide to go to the city council meeting and basically raise awareness? Well, so for me, it was personal. He's my neighbor. And when I, when I got the 911 transmission, for me, it was clear he used black woman. He said he was scared. His language, he said he didn't know what the, she was doing, right? And even afterwards, when the officer went back, because I was able to hear it, the officer explained to him that it was your neighbor and she was spraying the solution. And even his response then, there was nothing about it that sound like neighborly, right? And the fact that I was there, he was there the entire time. He never tried to approach me to say, Oh my God, I made a mistake. You know, a natural reaction would be if you didn't know who you were calling on and then the mom comes out, you know us. He didn't try to intervene. So for me, um, I just knew that I had to speak out because the 911 transmission was the exact opposite of what he communicated to me. And we saw your powerful testimony at that meeting. Bobby, how was it for you hearing your mom speaking up for you, speaking out against this? Uh... Well, I was, I was nervous because I was standing in front of a lot of people, but overall, I was, I was okay. And Monique, Bobby has been uh, honored for her work. Uh, yes. What has been the reaction from the community? So the community has been amazing. I've since learned that my community was not just my street, my neighborhood. Um, we've gotten support from all over. And in fact, Yale University, Dr. Joma reached out and just said, hey, Bobby's one of ours. We want to have you guys in. We want to help you change the trajectory of that day. So Bobby's been invited to Yale, Princeton. The USDA awarded her. And it's just been amazing, you know, to just to receive that kind of support. 
Well, Bobby, we're going to tell you right now, you're a rock star. You are a rock star. You keep doing the right yeah. thing and looking out for your community, and it's all going to work out for you. And did I hear you want to be a scientist when you grow up? What kind yeah. of scientist do you want to be? Um, Still trying to figure it out? Yeah. Tell her what you want to do. Tell her what you want to do. Well, I like mixing stuff, kind of, like how I made the liquid for the lantern flies. Oh my! Okay. Bright future ahead. They Yale, come up with Princeton. the next uh, vaccine or something that we need for the country. <laughs> wow! And she's taking her head. Yes, I love that. <laughs> All right, thank you, Bobby, and the best of luck to you. And also thanks uh, thank to you, you, Mom, as well. Thank you, both. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.